Are you tired of playing with your small deck? Have you always wanted something bigger? Something that will wow the crowd? Well, I got a huge deck for you. Here at Bad Boy Gaming, I'll give you the chance to play with something big. 100-inch commander deck. I mean, 100-card deck. Your choice of Faceless Menace or Merciless Rage. Just make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like this video, share this video on social media or a Magic the Gathering forum, and stick around for the final detail. And this huge deck can be yours. One final note, worldwide shipping, guys. Doesn't matter if you live next door or 4,264 miles away in a pickle jar. I'll ship it to your door. That being said, let's get it on. Kadina, Sorcerer, and Angie are fucking wrath. All up in this piece, man. So yeah, you can pick from those two. We're going to crack these two open right here. Gyre Conclave Exile, and the good old Chroniclasm. Also, somewhere hidden, I'll also tell you how you can get your hands on all of this goodness right here. Let's do this. How is everybody feeling? All right, no one's even going to answer that question, but it's okay, man. We have fun. We have fun. Yeah, this is, uh, this is something I haven't done in quite some time. It's going to be a huge video, so make sure you're a part of it and stay tuned. Uh, first things first, Commander decks. What are they? 100 card decks. Uh, where, uh, yeah, you can get these at your local game store. Uh, and also, you can go ahead, and uh, if you don't have a local game store to buy it, go to uh, a Walmart, Target, something like that, you know, uh, that, sells a, that sells this product. Pretty sweet. There is our oversized, huge card to give you an idea just how big it is next to the car and you can take home. Uh, there you go. Very, very large and in charge. But they're roughly about $40 to $45, you know, with shipping and all that. So this is all you get inside of one of these pretty little commander decks. These puppies just came out. Oh, wow. Did they always do that? I can't recall. Who knows? Have a big one and a small one? <sighs> yes, best of both worlds, if you know what I'm saying. All right. Let's get to cracking this sucker open. Woo! Look how thick that is. Is my, is my camera doing... Oh, there it is. Look at the thickness. Captures all of it. All right, yeah. 100 cards, man. This is ridiculous. There might be tokens in here as well, but we're going to go over it real quick, and I'll also cover the other deck, too. Inside of this, you get a huge pamphlet. That is correct. Wow. Commander, Primal Genesis. Tells you about playing with your deck. Uh, the rules of Commander, which are so simple. Rule books used to be like that thick, no joke. And uh, a little bit else. Uh, all about the, uh, the legendaries up inside of here. Awesome sauce, baby. Who's going to go and pick these up? Uh, yeah. Good time with, uh, actually, I'm going to be using these uh, to play with the kids and whatnot, and my lady. So, Gyard Conclave Exile. Oh, yes. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, create a 4-4 green trample creature token with trample. What? Rhino creature token with trample. And then whenever it attacks, populate. The token enters the battlefield, tapped and attacking. To populate, create a token that's a copy of a creature token you control. To deuce five. I like populate. I'm really happy they brought it back. I certainly, certainly am. Um, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if populate uh, cards go up in price. And also, got to keep an eye on the market, man. Some of these go up. I remember the dragon deck was at like 40 bucks upon release, and it jumped all the way like $100. You know, like Atroxa was at 30, 40 bucks upon release. That jumped all the way up to over 100, 200 bucks. It's nutty. Then we got uh, Atla, Paulina Nest Tender. I'll cover the mythics real fast, and then we'll get down with the other cards. Uh, four drop. And then for deuce, tap it. Create a zero one green egg creature token with defender. Whenever an egg uh, you control dies, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. Put that card on the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order to deuce three. I'll also give you my thoughts on what I believe is going to be uh, the deck to, to seek out at uh, some point in this video. Your opponents can't cast spells during combat. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, goad each creature that player controls. If only it said goat, because goat lives matter, and that is not a goat. But man, that is sweet. Looks like a He-Man character. All right, yeah. So uh, what is goat? Until your next turn, those creatures attack each combat if able and attack a player other than you if able. Pretty crazy. Uh, here we go. I wanted to see the art. That's one thing I really wanted to take a look at. Heart Piercer Manticore. Angel of Sanctum, looking sweet, man. The bird. Let's get a good look at the bird. Oh, yeah. Another bird. That is nasty. Beast token. They they came a long way with tokens. Tokens used to be, in my opinion, very plain Jane. And just, they didn't look that great. You know, it took up like only a little bit, you know, the frame and whatnot. Why would you not make a token full size? There was absolutely no reason to leave all that blank space on there. And it uh, looks like Wizards finally got hip. Really cool art on these. Very, very nice, man. 
Ooh, the Cliffside Rescuer. I can't go through every single card, but I will just, you know, slow slow roll it if you want to pause the video just to get crazy into details. But uh, I had to share this with you because I'm pumped that the new set's out. Hate Mirage. That's right, man. If you had a Mirage of Hate, you better watch out. Voice of Many. Dude is having some fun. This is mostly um, just to go over. Just have a little scare t scare tiller, you know? It's not a scare thrower, not a scare crow, but a oh, it is a scare crow. Scare wow, I am crazy with this one. We have fun. Intangible Virtue. I like this. It's in one of my uh, budget decks. Baller on a budget. Intangible Virtue. That's right. For $10, I put together a modern deck that uh, you can have some fun with. It's, it's out there, man. Look it up. Rock Egg. Oh, yes. Yeah, the Roke Eggs. It's not rock, stupid. Get it right, man. Ruth Bourne Defenses. All right. Some common action. What I really like about these is the number of rares and mythics you get. Beast Within. Really cool as well, man. Uh, Colossal Majesty. Ooh, yes. Back at it again. That was just printed not too long ago. Cultivate. That was like 99 cents before the reprint. Unbelievable. Uh, yes, absolutely unbelievable, man. Elemental Bond. Whenever a creature with power 3 or greater is a battlefield under your control, draw a card. That's pretty good with power 3 or greater. That's really good. I dig it, man. Explore. You may play an addition. If that was in standard right now, forget about it. That's all I'm saying. Green decks would have a chance. Maybe they'll reprint that card. Who knows? Explore. Of course, back. Farseek. Nice. People happy about that reprint. The pack leader. Harmonize, baby. Draw three cards, because everyone likes drawing cards. Uh, Slice and Twain. Man, so many reprints. Naya Charm coming at you. Sundering Growth. This chick that's uh, in love with roots and things, you know, she gets down. Lightning Greaves. Awesome card. Sees a heck ton of play. Soul Ring. This card's probably never seen play. I don't even know why they printed it. Uh, it doesn't see any play in Commander, and it definitely uh, is, is just worthless. You know, I, I don't get it. I don't know why people play that. It's really odd, man. Some people are strange. Then we got Commander's Insignia. Also, don't forget to check the stickers. Some of these don't come with stickers, man. Uh, creatures you control get plus one, plus one for each time you've cast your Commander from the Command Zone. From, uh, from the Command Zone this game. All right. Doom the Artisan is up here. The Sculpture card. Really interesting. So if you control attack or block the beginning of your end step, create a colorless uh, sculpture artifact creature token with the creature's power and toughness are each equal number of sculptors you control. That dude looks like he's about to pound that sculpture. And then you know what I'm saying. It's kind of weird. Uh, Song of the World Soul. Of the World Soul. Get a load of that, man. There's a lot going on there. Something just got blasted. I don't even know. Uh, the belligerents. Don't ever be belligerent on people. They don't like that. You get kicked out of places. You don't make many friends either. I hate to say it. I think I'll be live on Twitch tonight also, so something else you might want to check out. Uh, link in, or, yeah, link in the description of every video. Tectonic Helion. Playing some standard fun flowering. Populate X times. That is stupid. Got to pay the cast, or you got to pay the uh, X twice, basically. You know, That's how that works. Uh, Oran Frostfang. <laughs> Get a load of that camera, though. Mm, how close can we go? Pretty close before we lose focus. Celestia Uologist. All right, dude, what do you do? Three, exile target creature card from a graveyard, then populate. All right. First mate, because everyone likes mating with people. That's cool. That's a legendary. Remember, for commander, any legendary card could be your commander, but you want it to be like, you know, the centerpiece to synergize with everything. Idol of Oblivion, draw a card, activate this ability only if you created a token this turn. For eight, tap it, sacrifice, Idol of Oblivion, create a 10 10 colorless Eldrazi creature token. Angel of Sanctions, back at it again, was printed in Amonkhet. And uh, yeah, there she is again, looking all glory. Yes, is that it? That might be a guy. I'm not sure. Wingmate Roke, a mythic right here. The uh, the Sanctions was also a mythic, by the way. Flying has raid when Wingmate Roke enters the battlefield. If you attack with the creature this turn, create a 3 4 white bird creature token with flying. And then whenever Roke attacks, you gain one life for each attacking creature. Pretty nasty. A little reprint. Another reprint. Dragon Master Outcast, one of my favorites at the beginning of your upkeep. If you control six or more lands, create a 5-5 five, five red dragon creature token with flying. I made a modern deck with that. It's nasty sauce. Uh, this dude, who looks like he just stole some girl's face. Uh, he creates a token that's a copy of target creature card in your graveyard, except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. It gains haste, sacrifice it, beginning of the deck, then step. You get it. Garuk! Garuk! Garuk is on fire! Dude's nasty, man. They need to print a new Garuk. Anyone else feel that? I think they really need to print a new one. It's been a long time. We haven't seen a Garuk in, what, like six years? I mean, this is a reprint. It doesn't count. Sorry, Garuk. Uh, but really, really nasty card. Uh, the Adipage. Adipage? Adepage. Adipage. Whatever. It's a 7-7 seven, seven Trample. Whenever uh, it deals combat damage to a player, create a token that's a copy of it. Not bad. Solo Zendikar. Seen a heck ton of play. Great card all around, though, and it's nice that it has a Mana Sink as well. 
Celestia's voice. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. For three, populate. Why the heck would you not? Dev De Desolation Twin. This was in, if I'm not mistaken, Battle for Zendikar? Yeah, 100%. Maybe? Yeah, sure. I don't know. Yep. Hour of Reckoning. Oof. Convoke and then destroy all non-token creatures. Get out of here. Phyrexian Rebirth. Destroys all creatures, then create an XX colorless horror artifact creature token where X is the number of creatures destroyed this way. I'm digging it. The Rider coming at you, man. Whenever uh, it does stuff, you know. Heart Piercer Manticore. Uh, you can pause at any moment, guys. I just want to make sure I get through everything. Uh, with the Embalm for six. Man, whoa. Did you see all the blood and guts going on there? That is insanity. You, sometimes you got to zoom in really close to this art, man, and just appreciate it for what it is. Fresh meat. Oh, man. Pound Town likes that. Create a 3-3 green beast creature token for each creature put into your graveyard from the battlefield this turn. Hmm. Momentous Fall. I like it. What is that that fell? Is that like a big ogre? Oh, that's an Eldrazi. Is that an Eldrazi? Why would they do that? Oh, my gosh. Another reprint of Balaths. Cool. Second Harvest. Cool card. I don't know why this never went up in price. For each... Uh, Token you control, create a token that's a copy of that permanent. Should go way up in price. I don't know, but it's got reprinted, so probably not. It's like 30 cents now. The Revelation, pretty legit. Thrag Tusk, very popular, very uh, very nice card to have. And we have Tandris, the Elf Shaman. We're still going through rares and mythics. Can you believe that? Growing Ranks, another card I thought would go up in price. It was about 75 cents before it got printed again here. So there's something to keep in mind. Temple. Uh, it's power and toughness for each equal number of creatures you control. And Wavering Temple deals combat damage to a player populate. All right. Mimic that up in the piece. Great card, great card. Soul Foundry. When Soul Foundry enters the battlefield, you may exile a creature card from your hand. For X, create a token that's a copy of the exile card. X is converted mana cost with the card. I can't believe how many uh, mythics and rares there are. It's just ridiculous. Exotic Orchard, the Castle... Prairie, cheese, and then the rest should be lands. That we should just land it out here. Oh my gosh, what is this card back here? I see. Ash Baron's not bad. What is this though? Evolving Wilds. What does that do? Uh, sacrifice it. Evolving Wilds. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it on the battlefield. Tap and shuffle your library. That's really good. Oh my god, that's probably that's. I think that's the first printing of it. That is really good. Holy smokes! And then we got the refuge, the turf shrine. Riffs, yep. Uh, Mirad landscape. The panorama. Looks like panorama. Yeah, yeah, okay, stuff. The Passage. I always thought this card could do something. Target creature can't be blocked this turn for four. Eh, it never really took off, you know? The Highlands Sanctuary Expanse. There you have it, ladies and germs. And who's going to watch Brawl? We got one more to go through. Don't you go anywhere, man. And also, I'll let you know right now uh, what you got to do, uh, for sure. Uh, the final step. Pick a number, 1 through 1,000, and leave it in the comments below. Once you do that, you have to submit it by hitting the bell button located beneath the bottom right of this video. And good luck to you. And this will go on until someone guesses correct. Also, I'll, uh, I will snuff out multiple entries and or edits, and they will be removed. Again, good luck. And uh, yeah, still, I'll tell you how to get your hands on these before this video is over. Let's crack open Mr. Savine the Chronoclasm. Oh, yes. Sounds like he has a chronic problem with something. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what it is. Does anyone own or collect all the large commander cards? I am very, very curious. Do you collect all these crazy large commander cards? Do you have all of them? And I wonder how much that costs. And did you submit them to BGS PSA? There's probably two people that have literally done that that are going to comment. Just throwing her out there. There we have this. Prevent all damage. That would be dealt to the Chronoclasm. Whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell from your graveyard, each turn copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Mm. Remember the Walmart cubes? They used to randomly put them inside. Does not smell like the same magic the gathering I remember. That's quite a shame, guys. Oh, this thing is pretty busted, though. For five, it has the prowess. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets plus one, plus one, plus one of turn. You may look at the top card of your library any time. You, uh, you may cast the top card of your library if it's a non-creature, non-land card. And you may cast it as though it had flash. Get out of here. That is silly sauce, man. Uh, this huge, crazy artwork, beautiful, led me in love with it. Sky Rampart, Flying and Defender. 
Uh, enters the battlefield. Choose left or right. Each player may attack only the nearest opponent in the chosen direction, and Planeswalkers controlled by that opponent. Should you buy one of these? Yeah. Are you stupid? Absolutely, man. Commander's fun. You want to have friends? Guess what? You can't just sit and play arena your whole life. You eventually got to do something with yourself. You got to maybe sit and make some friends. You know, you, you, I don't care if you want to play MTGO. No, you got to get some friends. All right, hit up your local LGS and play some Commander, man. Get off your butt. Uh, Friday, Saturdays, they get crazy. Go to F and M. Uh, Cliffside Rescuer, up in the piece. The Vacuum. Everyone likes a vacuum. The Blade. Bloodthirsty Blade. Pretty cool. Some equipment. Scare Tiller. Noise again. Seems to be up at everything. Ghostly Prison. I love the artwork on this thing. Something like you'd see in a nightmare. Is he behind a fence of swords, or are the swords behind him? <laughs> it's, I don't know, man. Prismatic Strands. Legit. I just want to admire the artwork, possibly any new artwork. Ray of Distortion. Chemistry's Insight. Needed that reprint, of course. Deep Analysis. Mm -mm. Factor Fiction. All up in it. Last time I did one of these, where I, it was a Commander Cube, it took six months before someone correctly guessed the number. Get out of here. Six months it took. Keep that in mind. I think it might have been longer than six months. And then it shipped out, man. It was nuts. Secrets of the Dead. Think twice. Burning Vengeance. This chick who's locked up for doing naughty things she shouldn't have been doing. Shame on you for doing the world's oldest profession. Rascal. Faithless Looting. Got the old reprint of room, man. This card's probably going to be banned one day from Modern. Gutter Snipe. The old Hemblor. Crackling Drake. Can't get enough of my Drakes, man. Some Farmer's Market. You guys, you need to go on a date, man. Hit up Farmers.com. It's cool. Armillary Sphere. Love that in foil. A locket, a heart, and a mandate of peace. Cast a spell only during combat. Your opponents can't cast spells this turn. End the combat phase. Oh, man. Reclamation, Sabines. Return target permanent card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. If this spell was cast from your graveyard, you may copy the spell and may choose a new target for the copy. Flashback for five. How about that? Geist Caller. Beautiful. With the lifelink. Whenever you cast a spell from your graveyard, create a 1 1 white spirit creature token with flying, sacrifice spirit, Dahlia's Geist Color, gains indestructible until end of turn. Mass Diminish, legit. Wall of Stolen Identity, having some fun with that. Backdraft Hellkite, love this. I want that in foil, though. Uh, but Hellkite attacks each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard, gains flashback until end of turn. The flashback cost is equal to the mana cost. All right. Dockside Extortionist. This dude is having some real weird fun, man. He just stole a bag of someone's marbles, and he's about to go play with them. Ignite the future. It looks like you just had some gas come out your... Uh, yeah, this just smoking up, man. That's not good. Gerard Weatherlight Hero. Causing cards to go up in value. Yes, it is. Four drop. First strike. Uh, when hero dies, exile it and return the battlefield. All artifacts and creature cards in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. It could get a little crazy. I don't like him. He killed Urza. A little decapitation punk. Uh, empowered Auto Generator. This card's stupid. Uh, enter the battlefield tap. Put a charge counter on Empowered Auto Generator. Add X mana of any one color where X is the number of charge counters on Empowered Auto Generator. Pristine Angel. Can't get enough of your gorgeousness, girl. Flying, as long as Pristine Angel is untapped, it has protection from artifacts and from all colors. Whenever you cast a spell, you may untap Pristine Angel. God, I love it. Sun Titan. These Titans are nasty, man. Six drop Vigilance. Sun Titan enters the battlefield or attacks. You may return target permanent cards. Converted mana costs three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. A blazing sun that never sets. Eh, he says it just like that, I swear. Clever Impersonator, got the old Reprintaru, Ralzalrek. They should have given them, like, new artwork, but, you know, they just didn't. They kind of just failed us as a whole, don't you think? Cool Mythic, though. Divine Reckoning, each player chooses a creature they control, destroy the rest. Flashback. Dusk and Dawn, the old, uh, sh not Amon Cat, the other one. Yep, yep, that one. Increasing Devotion, the ultimate bulk card, but create five one one white human creature tokens. If the spell is cast from a graveyard, create ten of those tokens instead. Mr. Stormherd, get a load of it. Bunch of Pegasus. Love this. Sad it got reprinted, though. That stinks. And it's rotating out. Just whatever. Jace's Sanctum. River Kapai. Talran Sky Summoner. Didn't need enough of these copies. Devil's Play. Increasing Vengeance. Mmm. I know a few women out there that have increasing vengeance. Magma Quake. Ooh, rumbles when you shake and bake. Know what I'm saying? No? All right. Pristine Skywise, Ultimate Bulk, does what it does. Refuse to cooperate. All right, man. 
so many exotic orchards were printed again. Add one man of any color that a land an opponent controls could produce. Prairie Stream, Commander Sphere, legit. And then we just go out with uh, Soul Ring, which is the worst card ever in Commander. Just I don't know why they print it anymore. It just doesn't do much. Azorius Chancery, the Garrison, another Guildgate, the Tower, Evolving Wild. Whoa, we get two of these. Yes, Highland Lake, the Boilworks, the Guildgate. And before we finish off, if you want this, Karn the Great Creator, along with Blast Zone. God, it's so nasty, man. And uh, I included one of each kind of full art land there is, including a waste. Uh, and I signed each and every one of them. Yes, oh, yes, I did. Uh, to get that, tell me the story of your best comeback victory playing Magic the Gathering. Oh! That'll go on for two weeks, and then I'll pick someone at random. Myriad Landscape, Mystic Monastery, The Quarry, The Cliffs, The Temple of a False God, Expanse Cove, eh, Crag, and lastly, Discover More Magic. Watch another video. Perhaps this one over here. Or maybe you want to watch this one. Or this or this. Whichever you prefer, man. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Good luck to everyone who's going to do this. Make sure you do share it on social media. Like, subscribe, hit the bell button. Uh, for the second thing. Uh, and yeah, there you have it, man. The first thing. Good luck to you. Skadoosh!